In this video, we are introduced to the concept of proportional reasoning, or for short, proportions. A proportion is a statement that two ratios are equivalent. Below you see the example 4 over 8 equals 15 over 30. We could read this proportion as follows. 4 is to 8 as 15 is to 30. In other words, 4 relates to 8 in the same fashion as 15 relates to 30. How can we observe this? Well, two ways come to mind. First, if we look at the relationship between 4 and 8, we know that that's actually equal to the relationship between 1 and 2, or in other words, 4 eighths is just 1 half. And if we also compare 15 over 30, we see that 15 relates to 30 in the same way. 15 is half of 30, or in other words, 15 over 30 also reduces to 1 half. Here is a statement where two ratios are equivalent. How else can we tell if a proportion statement is equivalent? Well, we can use something called cross multiplication. Cross multiplication is a technique that algebra students often use to show that a statement is proportion, and we also use it often to solve proportions for unknowns. What exactly does it mean by cross multiplication? Well, cross multiplication is a simple way of multiplying both sides of an equation by the least common denominator. When we do, the following effect takes, <laughs> the following goes into effect. If we were to cross multiply across this equal sign in a proportion, we would discover that the values we get are the same. In other words, if I take four times 30, I get the number 120. If I take 8 times 15, I also get the number 120. This is true whenever you have a proportion. Proportions can be solved using the cross multiplication process. We'll see that when we get into our applications. For now, I just want to take a look at one more example of a proportion. Let's look at the following scenario. Sally runs 1.5 miles in 12 minutes. At this rate, it will take her 16 minutes to run 2 miles. Notice below I have two proportions set up. But what I want you to notice even more deeply, or pay attention to particularly, is where the units are located. In this problem, we note that Sally runs 1.5 miles in 12 minutes. That's a relationship between miles and minutes. At this rate, Sally will also run two miles in 16 minutes. We look and compare how we put 16 to 1.5 and 12 into the proportion. What's important to note is when you set up a proportion, the units have to be corresponding, namely, if on the left side we have a fraction that compares miles on top to minutes on the bottom, then the corresponding fraction on the right must also have miles on top and minutes on the bottom. We can say that 1.5 miles is to 12 minutes as 2 miles is to 16 minutes. We could also set up a proportion at the bottom which says that we have 12 minutes corresponding to 1.5 miles in the same fashion as 16 minutes corresponds to 2 miles. What's important here is to note that as long as minutes are on top on one side, minutes must also be on top on the other side. When you set up a proportion, it is imperative that your units correspond across the proportion. If miles are on top in the first ratio, they should be on top in the second ratio. I'd like to finish this video by just showing you how to use cross multiplication on this particular example. 1.5 miles is to 12 minutes as 2 miles is to 16 minutes. If we ignore miles and minutes, 
we get the proportion 1.5 is to 12 as 2 is to 16. Using the process of cross multiplication, we would multiply to make sure that this is accurate. We would take 16 times 1.5 and that would give us 24. And then 12 times 2, that would give us 24. 24 is 24, and cross multiplication, cross multiplication verifies that this is in fact a proportion. This ends our video introduction to proportions. In our next video, we're actually going to put them to use in solving some application problems.